Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these Red Baron scrambles. I've never had one of these. These are uh, there are two bacon scrambles in the box. It is a crust topped with gravy, gravy, bacon, scrambled eggs, mozzarella, and cheddar cheese. It looks pretty good. It looks like they're a little skimpy on the bacon, but it looks okay. Um, we bought these at Kroger. They were three thirty-four uh, each, so you, you get two of them for three dollars. I don't think that's too bad. Or three thirty. Um, they're 440 calories per piece, and there's two of them in here. There's your other info for you. Okay, basically says, um, one pizza at a time. So place unwrapped frozen pizza and tray, silver side up, on a microwave safe plate. So unwrapped pizza. That's, place unwrapped pizza. Okay, I'm, I'm thinking leave it wrapped. Unwrap it, put it in the in a, on a plate. Center, direct, center of the oven. And cook for two to three minutes. I'll probably split the middle to two and a half. Pizza's ready when the cheese is completely melted. And then you can do it in the oven if you'd like to. Yeah. So two and a half minutes, I don't think that's too bad. So it does have a pull tab. Top. Yeah, there's what they look like. They look like little, little pizzas. Little. So I'm going to take this out of the plastic wrap. I don't know which one do I want. I think I want this one. It's got more cheese on it. Um, I'm going to take it out of the plastic, get it on a plate, and uh, or paper plate is what I'm going to use, and I'll be right back. Okay, here it is out of the microwave, and I haven't done anything with it. I literally just took it out. So um, I'll probably get a knife and cut this into maybe fourths and, and get it unstuck from the, from the thing because it's kind of stuck to the tray. So... I'll, um, I'll be right back once I get it cut up. It looks pretty good. It's got quite a bit of cheese on it. I'll be back. I think it's had enough time to cool off. I wanted to show you the bottom the crust. It's not super crispy, but it is a, it is, it's crispy enough. So, um, so here we go. Hmm. Got a piece of bacon. It's kind of chewy. As long as it wasn't the eggs that were chewy, we're in good shape. Sorry, takes a while to chew. The um, the crust is really doesn't. I mean, it has a little bit of flavor. It's just like a, a plain pizza crust or something like that. It's just a plain flavor. But the eggs and the bacon, um, I really, I maybe. I guess if the gravy wasn't there, you would miss it. It doesn't like it's not a standout flavor, which is a good thing. I don't really want it overpowered with gravy anyway. But um, it's primarily egg and bacon with a little bit of the mix of the cheese and the, and the gravy. I actually really like this. I think this is really good. It's a good um, it's a good alternative to eating um, you know like a regular meal all the time or a breakfast bowl or something like that. Um, this is really good. If you were to overheat that, I think the, the bread would get really tough and really hard. Um, two and a half minutes was good for my microwave. You might even go less, I don't know. So you might wanna keep an eye on this one so when the cheese just kinda of starts melting, um, get it out of there when it's done melting, when all of it's done melting, um, take it out and be done with it. I don't think I would leave it in there too much longer than that because you don't want it to get hard. Um, the other side kinda of got a little drier and harder but not. it's still pretty decent. So this is really good. Um, hmm. The bacon worked to get. I wish the bacon. I mean, I wish the gravy flavor was a little stronger. Um, that being said, you don't want to overpower it either, and you wouldn't want too much of it on there because then it would be runny. So that, that's what I'm debating. Do I really? You know what? I'm going to give this one a four and a half. I don't think it's quite a five yet, but it's better than a four. It's definitely something I would get again. I would buy this one again um, anytime. It's really, really good. Um, like I said, the bacon and the egg flavor is really good and strong, and then you got the underlying like gravy and cheese flavor. So it's really good. Um, definitely try them out if you've never tried one of these out before. Um, they're they're worthwhile uh, if you like any kind of breakfasty kind of thing. Calories are a little high, but just you can either eat half of it or just just eat that and nothing else. So uh, if you're trying to stay below a certain amount or something, so just keep keep that in mind. So, um, so yeah, yeah, it's really good. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.